maximum diameter is subjected to shear force of 30 maximum shear stress and sketch variation stress along the depth of beam. Okay, so first of all, write down the given data. The diameter of this circular section, it is D is equal to, it is given 100 mm, 100 mm. Okay, and shear force it is given, that is S is equal to shear force, it is 30 kilo Newton. Convert it is in Newton, that is 30 into 10 raised to the power 3, 10 raised to the power 3 Newton. Then calculate maximum shear stress. So first of all, calculate average shear stress. Average shear stress. Or average shear stress. Average shear stress. So area, first calculate the area of this cross-sectional. It is cross-sectional of area. It is pi d square by 4. Or circular section, it is pi into d square by 4 by d square divided by 4 by d square divided by 4 okay. is equal to pi into pi into so d it is 100 mm d it is 100 mm into 100 square divided by 4 100 square divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4. Okay. So it will get area is equal to cross sectional area is equal to pi into 100 square divided by 4. 7.853 7.853 into 10 raised to the power 3 mm square mm square mm square. Okay. So now Q average is equal to Q average is equal to Q average is equal to S by A. Shear force divided by cross-sectional area A. Okay, cross-sectional area A so is equal to 30 into 30 into 10 raised to the power 3. 10 raised to the power 3. 10 raised to the power 3 divided by area it is here it is 7.853 7.853 into 10 raised to the power 3 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 it will be get cancelled 30 divided by Q average it will be get 30 divided by 7.853 so it will get 3.825 so Q average is equal to Q average is equal to it is 3.820, 3.820 MPA, that is Newton per mm square. Okay. So now, now Q max is equal to, we know that Q max is equal to, it will be per circular section is Q max is equal to, per circular it will be 4 by 3, 4 by 3 Q average, 4 by 3 Q average, 4 by 3 Q average. 4 by 3 it will be Q average. Q average, okay. So 4 by 3 into 4 by 3, that is means 1.33, okay. 4 by 3 into Q average it will be 3.820, 3.820. So it will be get Q max. So Q max is equal to 4 by 3 into 3.820 so it will be 5.5.093 093 mp mp okay so draw the shear stress diagram for that so first of all draw circular section for this section so this one it is neutral axis of this circular section Q max it will be maximum shear stress it will be at neutral x. So this is not a shear stress diagram. Okay. 
So maximum shear stress it will be at neutral x. This metal will. So this value it is 5.093. 5 MP. Mega. Okay. So this one it is shear stress for the circular section. Okay. For shear force 30 kilonewton. Okay.